my rebranding for my web design and the first step I took into the art designs was to look if I could change the logo. I think I had about like one to two weeks I sketched like different kind of versions the way I wanted to look and feel but then after trying a lot of what yeah just a lot of stuff I decided you know what let's just not do it. I feel like the logo that I have currently is just enough and good and Honestly, a whole branding doesn't really only depend on the logo, in my opinion. It also depends on the style, the visuals, etc, etc. So branding is not only the logo, it's more than just that. So only for that, I decided to then, okay, next step was to make sure that I had a good vision board. Actually, I did the mood board, I mean, before. But um, I have it on Pinterest now. I did it separated in like three different sections. Brand design or design-wise imagery and uh, room inspo, but that's just something personal. Uh, and then, what did I do? I saved a lot of like design ideas in my brand inspo board in Pinterest, and then in my uh, imagery, I put like the way I just wanted my like maybe visuals to look like on social media, like there's a new post out, etc., etc. A bit like my YouTube channel, just to have like a standard template I can be using uh, to post. So that was all set and done, and then after that, I decided to start working out the brand book but because I don't really have a style yet that I was really happy with I decided to like skip that step and move to the web design directly because I feel like at the moment that's just more priority my goal for this year was to have it like done end of March we're, all, we're basically now in April so it feels very dumb that, that it took so long I, had, I just had to do this quicker but now I'm focusing on web design I'm almost done I have the whole idea of my web design refreshment is just to like, one, there's going to be a new domain name, it's going to be Studio Heart Designs. Secondly, I'll be putting more videos into my web design because nowadays we see a lot of more video content in portfolio websites and just a different way of presenting the cases that I've worked on and just updating the old projects with new projects that I've been working on. So that's basically the goal. So today I'm just focusing on doing some web design and trying to finalize it completely. I changed my color plan instead of having like completely dark grey, I decided to go for a bit like a dark brownish color and um, I feel like that's just a bit better and we're also going to be shooting like images that I can put and a lot of these things that I'm going to put on my web design are probably going to be for my design diaries videos so I just have to check that part. For now, frozen web design and it's going well, I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks like, it's just a different way of presenting and I feel like a refreshment sometimes is needed on your website especially within the current trends that are going on in the social media world and in the design world and just in life in general. So we're going to finalize my web design, that's my goal for this week, definitely, and maybe even start building the new website. So I'm really curious with how that's gonna go. And uh, of course, when you're designing, you also have to make like, the website responsive, so that's going to be a thing. That's like, that takes the most time. The designing is not the issue, the building it is not the issue, but making it like responsive for all devices is what takes a lot of time. But we're gonna do it and it's gonna go well. currently working on the web design as you can see and this is my entire board as you can see it's a huge mess there's a lot of stuff on here and I already like the first web design I did was right here and here I just use different colors bolder text this was just gonna be an image and here are the cases and then like, work I do etc etc CTA as an end card, but I did not really like the whole look and feel of the website. It just felt very, like, still too similar to the, uh, the style I have right now. So I decided to switch it up and just create something different. And that is right here. Yeah, you can see a lot of like inspiration things I took. The, you know, Simmons, like the way he had his video and his header, the colors, the cases my brand book challenges just different like things that inspire me and things i designed to see my old website and stuff but for now this is the web design i decided to come up with and that is pretty clean so the videos will change but for now this was just enough 
So header with a video to immediately reach the contact, mailing, and here immediately go down to the cases, show like the most highlighted ones, then brands I've worked with, what I can offer them, reviews, and then right here you can like get to know me better. And then here the footer, I just so I said I'm very weird. <laughs> footer. And then this is like the cases page. So here it's basically the same field as on the home page. Trying to like also like use as many components again as possible. Then here this is gonna be a case single. Here you would then have like the previous one that I had was like just showing what I did, but this time I want to like also show the process. So this would be like a video maybe or a picture, short introduction of what it is. In fact, you should not look at it. I really just copied from a different websites. Maybe create like a video per uh, brand or stuff I did. Then here like the logo and the process or the sketch that I did for the logo or design project that I did. Then here like some visuals. And then right here like the conclusion. And then here other projects that they can view. Next page is gonna be design diaries. I wanna create like because the whole goal of me design creating design diaries was to give people like a peek into a life of a business owner and to like get to know me better as a person. And design diaries is created for that, so I decided why not just add it to the website? Still need to add that to the but as you can see here, so this would be like the latest video, and then here are some stills that I created and subscribe very simple. Next page is like the services page and that consists of what I offer. I instead of me having like different packages, I just, just decided to focus on like creating two. So that's brand design and logo design. But if you're interested and you just want something else, it's always possible. So here, like other work, logo design, brand design, simple beginning, then meet the face, reviews for our clients, and then other people have worked with. And then here's the like the single page for the services. I will just highlight like what's maybe included into it, a video maybe or a picture of like a logo design, and then like other services. And this is the contact page, pretty simple. I decided to give this a whole like just a dark vibe so it will be like different from the other other pages. And then lastly the 404 page, a nice picture. And then as lastly like the privacy policy page as well. That's not very important in design. So so far so good. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think I'm actually gonna start building it this week. Now I'm done with the one thing on my task list. I'm really happy with the web design and I'm gonna see where I'm gonna do the hosting. Normally I always buy it from Namecheap. It's a pretty good I'm um, honestly for the past Two, three, four years that we we have been using Namecheap, it's pretty chill. And it's if there's any issue at all, like with your website, you can always like have contact with your customer service, and they always immediately help you, and it's always like always solved. So if you're looking for a place to to host your domain, to buy a domain, I really recommend Namecheap. I'm not sponsored, not yet. Maybe in the future one time. But I really advise you to get Namecheap because it's really, really good and the customer service is like just top notch. So if you ever need web hosting or you want to buy a domain, I really recommend Namecheap. They're great, their customer service is great, so that's it, enough promotion. Now we're going to continue. I think that's all for like the whole first episode of uh, rebuilding my business. Yeah.
I'll be wearing it, and then these uh, polo shirts. So I'm pretty happy with the outfit today. It looks pretty good. I like it. It's nice. And I'm going to be wearing my white Nike uh, Air Forces. And I'm about to head to work. I want to record some shots, so I'll be leaving a bit earlier and get those shots in, and then we start work. spot I just came here from work but I see that a lot of like cars and trucks are passing so we have to see if this is a good spot to record it's pretty nice and it's at the water I want to do like a new music recommendation series on Instagram but I want to use like a different location to film and I decided to go scout locations and check but I don't know if this is a smart location to choose I'll just show you guys yeah as you can see this is the spot it's a pretty nice spot and I feel like I can create like nice shots here. I want to record like over there and then film or the over there.
Podcast. Podcast.